Welcome to the Honest Designers Show, your transparent look into life as a modern designer. My name's Tom Ross, and I'm the founder at designcuts.com. And this week, I'm joined by my fellow Brit and hand lettering expert, Ian Barnard, American retro design expert, Dustin Lee, and the incredibly talented South African illustrator, Lisa Glantz. So as promised, guys, this is the continuation of last week's episode on mindset. I hope you find it helpful. This is an uncharacteristically short episode to the show, but I hope it's packed full of some insight and value to help you in your creative projects. Let's get into it. I heard this uh, a bit creepy um, last word that from, you know, you know, Walmart, I think it's a very American thing, but are you familiar with Walmart? Yeah. 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 Do you guys have Walmart over there? No. Oh, yeah, similar. Nope. Same, oh, okay. Cool. Same so there. Sam Walton started Walmart, right? Uh, from just one store, obviously, and he built it up into this gigantic, you know, like I think some of the top richest people in the world are his relatives. And anyways, at the end of his life, uh, his last words were, I blew it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he just kind of was like, I blew it. I blew Is it. Is that for real? That's for real. Yeah, I just double checked it right before I said that because I was like, before I say this on the on the show, I want to make sure I'm accurate <laughs> on that, and I'm not just re- imagining it. But yeah, so it just it just goes to show that like where you put your energy like might be completely wrong. This man, by most people's you know uh, measurements, would be super successful, and um, he didn't feel that way. It's hard to, yeah. hard not to associate money with success, isn't it? Um, mm. or how you know society puts so much pressure on success being a monetary value rather than definitely you know for me it's like I could work like all hours of the day and actually um, Tim Cook old Apple Tim Cook has been slated <laughs> Tim for Apple, saying yeah. sorry <laughs> Tim Apple yeah Tim Apple <laughs> uh, been slated for saying I was, he did a shout out in his keynote saying thanks to all the workers who sacrifice time with families and their weekends and stuff like that and it's like why should that be applauded that's actually that's not good part of success is being able to spend time with your family and having some weekends well said to, Ian. to yeah. be yeah. able to you know perhaps you should have apologized to them for that instead of i would say saying, so yeah <laughs> that, that would have been a better better way to do it um, yeah and yeah and just how important you know spending time outside of work and rest and how how beneficial rest is i don't feel like i get enough rest i don't switch off enough like yeah i do other things but i feel like i feel like i'm a little bit addicted to my phone in terms of <laughs> you and me both buddy constantly checking it and like you know waking up and checking it and uh, you know it, it it's not something that's like taking my energy it's just taking my focus and yeah. it's it's not it's that it's that constant like being on a treadmill and not ever getting off it I and mean, you like mm-hmm. i just need to sort of switch off for a while so, and that um, really sets to mindset like i feel like mindset's one of the things where you you do have to really put that you put your your minutes into different baskets as far as where you put your mind because it might not be the best investment to put your mind all into your work i mean oftentimes absolutely. i feel like sometimes i'll be like forget about it. I'm not doing this. I'm not answering emails. I'm not doing this. I'm going to go hang out with my kids. I'm going to go yep. do this thing. That's I never look back your, and regret your it. response to email, isn't it, Dustin? <laughs> yeah. And, you, and and I've said it before and I never regret it. I never regret not answering emails because whatever. Yeah. There's so much more important than answering emails just because someone wrote you. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I, you I, the, the, and your kids the, will sorry. be happy for that. And you know, I'm only teasing, sure. big guy. <laughs> oh no i know i you mean know, it's true and that's what that's my cost the cost is that the people that write you're gonna be like you never respond which is a fair assessment <laughs> I, I i feel like i'm your fourth kid but just the really needy one <laughs> <laughs> well you're the kid that like is a good business partner uh, why They're why won't you love business. me dad yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know what the, the weirdest thing is like we actually know that like not only has science showed us that we need a break to actually re- be refreshed and actually do better work as a result um so we know that from science we know that in ourselves as you just said dustin like if you say yes to one thing you're saying no to something else i mean that is a given time is is it's not this thing that just changes it is what it is 
Um, but yet we still do it anyway. It's kind of like, it's like that whole thing of smoking. Like you've been warned, you're going to die from this, <laughs> but we still do it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just the weirdest thing about a human brain. But, Don't you think? We're pretty stupid yeah. really when it comes down yeah. to We all are. <laughs> and you look at, um, uh, obviously in the UK, we have quite a big farming culture and every um, seven years, a field has to rest uh, to regain yeah, really. its nutrients. So mm -hmm. literally one field, and you see it a lot in like, if you go through France, because they, you know, because it's three, four times the size that. of the UK. You see fields just not, you know, just left to what, do what whatever the they want to do. That? Fallow or something? Yeah, something like that. And, um, uh, and just how important that is to the nutrients of the ground. So if you think, you know, a, a field has to rest, how much more have we got to rest? Every yeah. seven um, years, you said? Yeah. yeah. Just like the resting on Sundays and stuff like that in Christianity. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, you know, it obviously comes from like a biblical model, but also, you know, oh. Oh, I'm a Christian. And it's like actually a commandment to rest. Not like, yeah. oh, you should do, maybe, but like actually you should do uh, because that's how important it is to your body. And I suppose mm. I've, when I don't rest, like <laughs> I've been like, I was at a wedding the weekend. Uh, I've not even got like to bed late both nights and then, I was out at a gig on Sunday night and then I was uh, doing a mural last night and then uh, tomorrow night I'm up in Nottingham again. And so I'm just feeling like, need a rest. It's the life of <laughs> yeah, a party I mean, animal. How are you going to create, like, how do you pull out, like, good stuff in that state? You just don't. It's like... Yeah. And it feels so like a, you go taking two steps backwards, yeah. you know, when you rest. Because, like, oh, if I take a few days off posting to Instagram or... I haven't posted it. I haven't posted very clearly. Yet. But taking time off, you feel like everyone else, you know, like the tortoise and the hare. You, mm. you feel like, oh, I'm just going to have a rest. I'm going to lose this race. Um, yep. But actually, it's not a case, you know, other people are going to be ahead of you. Other people are going to be behind you. It's not actually diff. You shouldn't be focusing. You know, if a runner focuses on other people and not the finishing line, then they're going to do a bad job, aren't they? Because they're going to be, you know, you need that. You need to be focused on your lane. Yeah. And also, like with muscles, they need rest as well. You can't go to the gym 24-7 because your body just won't develop. They don't need time to grow. And I suppose that's as designers, growth may come from not only learning, but also from resting. Mm -hmm. um, and that's so true. You know, Alan Watts talks like uh, that thing with the muscles you said reminds me of like Alan Watts had said something about we we've just learned to always talk and if we're not talking we're thinking and he's like if you got to stop thinking like you have to let your brain just stop thinking and kind of like muscles just connect things and manage what it's been processing nonstop. and actually when me and tom were in a coffee shop when we were at uh, the birmingham design festival and i was just doodling on my ipad and um there's a quote by or a blog post i can't remember if it's in his new book by um Austin uh, Cleon that says, mm -hmm. uh, um, find magic in the mundane. So actually doing mundane jobs can help you free up your brain to be able to think mm. rather than doing design jobs to try and think of design ideas. Yeah. Actually, Love that. Find, find, you know, maybe it's just washing up. Like, And it's why we get an idea in the shower because it's mm -hmm. like a, a mundane, it's not really a yeah, job, is yeah, it? It's you, just doing, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a random reference along those lines. In Bruce Almighty, where Morgan mm. Freeman plays God, and there's a scene where he talks about, uh, he's like the janitor in that place, and he talks about good old-fashioned like manual labor being hugely underrated by the human species because of just mm. what it does for you mentally. Yeah, and actually oh, yeah. the happiest people come home smelling to high heaven. That's <laughs> oh, it's good a great name, good <laughs> yeah. You're like me with the film quotes. It, yeah, it's like some of the most happy people come home smelling to high heaven, but, you know, and... Yeah, because he's he's craving. What was he? He was like, because he wanted like the number one anchor position in yeah. the thing, mm -hmm. and actually he was telling me, well, actually some people, you know, do the most smelliest, horrible jobs, but actually they're happy because mm. you know, work. You know, was it's. I suppose for me, it's like if I didn't have to worry about money and didn't have to worry about work, you know, that would actually become boring, wouldn't it? Because actually putting in the work and the reward that you get from it is actually something that i think like my body 
needs i suppose yeah um mm. i have a group of friends the years ago that were all worked for a landscaping company and they seem like some of the happiest dudes i knew yeah no, i know mean. yeah a lot of the people i know are the ones that were especially work outside in all weathers yeah. and you think oh you know i could never do that but then i'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm just thinking some of the happiest people i know I don't think any of them are designers. So <laughs> have, have, we, have we made an error in our career move? <laughs> oh dear. It's true. That's not a good trade. Oh, That's man. sadly true. I, I remember the idea, because I did a bit of uh, electrical work on the side. Um, and I spent two days in, uh, I spent one day in uh, on a, an estate. Like, it was really cold, like really cold. I like, took like zero degrees. Oh. And, C. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit for those who work for. But I was like, my hands were freezing. I was trying to put electrical cable up. Then I was next day. I was in a house that was completely gutted, so I had no heating, and I was freezing. But then um, I remember that we all went down the pub on the Friday afternoon after we finished. I was just like, my body felt like properly tired, not yeah. like looking at a screen tired. It actually felt like I'd done some work and it feels better it just feels really good it's like when you do mm. exercise actually you just like yep it, yeah. it, it's a lot more work than me clicking the mouse on the computer screen but and you sleep what, better i know and once i've done mm. and mentally as well i found it it, it's but it, it takes it it's just that like it's it's getting started i'm just like I'm you, so you sleep better food like food tastes better it seems like i mean yeah everything yeah. gets enhanced and i think particularly like in a holistic thing of actually being outside and moving your body like in a holistic way, you know, sometimes like in a gym, you're kind of isolating muscle groups and things and it's not quite the same. And I'll be honest, the the feel good that I get from social media is very different because you you guys know I love that stuff. And um, I do. I love putting work out and supporting other people's work and helping people and all that jazz. But that is not like a kind of healthy, like oh, I'm going to bed sleepy kind of high. That's more like a crackhead high where it's drip, <laughs> drip, drip feeding me dopamine. 